In today's video, I'll be showing you how I use Finviz to find a really good trading setup. This setup is called a false breakout and I do trade it almost on a daily basis or every time that it happens. As usual, this video is not going to be financial advice. This is going to be for information purpose only and I will link all the best tools to day trade in the description. So don't forget to check it out. So the first thing you're going to do is go over finviz.com and this website is honestly really good. I'm always surprised how much there's good stuff on it, even if it's completely free. The only thing that that's annoying it's always the ads but you can't do anything about that if you don't pay so when it comes to finding setup it's interesting that people tell you which setup to look for but it's really important that you understand how those setups are made and why they happen over and over again. So the first example we're going to be looking at is going to be on IONQ and I will be going over multiple examples. So we can see over here that the stock you know made a nice move up over here and at this point I'm going to be looking for this little red day over here so the 0630 what's interesting about this day over here or how it is behaving is that it's very far from its moving average so we can see the blue line is the 10 SMA the green line is the 20 SMA and orange is going to be the 50 SMA so we're going to see that the stock is way above and it made a big move up and it doesn't create a base. The way it works normally is stocks that are breaking out out of a shitty base, so the stock didn't really have time to consolidate, are gonna fail more often than not. So this is kind of the idea behind this trade. So you definitely wanna be just looking for stocks that are moving really higher from its moving average and that are failing just above. So the setup on the daily always looks like this over here. And it's very important that you remember how it really look because it really look bullish. A lot of people are going to be looking to buy this and I can understand because it looks like it's going to go much higher. But the way it works when we go to the intraday chart, you can see that, you know, it makes a move higher. It traps a lot of longs and then it just falls below VWAP. So this is a really good example to remember and I'll go through other charts that are doing the same exact thing. By the way, at any point during this video, don't forget to check out the links in the description. I did link all the best tools for day trading, included broker, scanner, charts, and all of that stuff. Also, if you want to participate to win one year of trading view, the only thing you have to do is just comment your favorite indicator in the comment section before the end of the month. So let's get back to the video. Well, actually, this is today and this is for PLTR. So the same thing, the stock was breaking above and it just made a significant move higher already. And then it just fell from the high. So you're looking for stock that are distant from their moving average and that are failing to hold above VWAP. So the stock made a move and then we're looking to capture kind of the down move over here. So a pretty simple setup and there's some other good example with this name. If we just go back to this day over here, which is the 0607, we have a pretty much exact same setup. Really strong move up is this big red day over here. We're really far from its moving average and then we failed to hold VWAP. If we look at Mara over here, we can see that, you know, it made a significant move up. At this point, we're breaking above its previous high. We're failing and we get below VWAP and all of a sudden, you know, we have a nice trend day. So we can go back and see the same thing. You know, stock makes a big move up and it tries to break above a recent high and it just fails right from above. So it's always the same thing. Strong move up, fail to hold VWAP intraday and you can kind of get short risking, you know, a decent level. So we'll look at the last example, which is on a Joby and it's the same exact thing, right? The stock makes a really big move up. It consolidates for one day, tries to break above this previous day high. It just fails to hold VWAP and all of a sudden we have a nice trend day once again. So the setup is quite simple. You're looking for a stock that already made a big move up and the way you're going to find this is always going to be with volume. After that, you just need to set yourself some alerts above the previous day high or the significant high if the stock is in a base. When the stock breaks out of the base, you're looking for the stock to move up and then you're looking for the stock to fail to hold above VWAP. So it's a very simple thing. So we're going to do all this in Finviz to really understand how to find it. So now we're back in Finviz and what we're going to be looking for for the first thing, this is always important. You want to have volume. If you don't have volume, you're not going to have a good setup or it's going to be very, very hard to trade. So I normally look for stock that trades above at least 20 millions. You could sometimes get away with less, but I highly 
recommend that you look for the higher trading volume stock the reason why is just going to be easier the spread is going to be less and you can have less random price action you're going to be able to have more confidence in your trading so over 20 million is a good start the next thing we talked about or we saw from every single chart that we looked at it was that the price was above the 20 sma so i, I can look for price 10 percent above the 20 sma and i'm going to do the same thing with the 50 sma so 10 percent above the 50 sma so this is really going to show you just the stock that have the chart that we're looking for because if we look at all the example we're all distant from the sma if we look at the pltr like we did have before we're always extended from the SMA, always extended from the SMA. If we look at something like a Mara, same thing. If we look back at IONQ, we can also see that we were really above the SMA. So it's very important that we are actually extended from these moving average. So now that we do have a basic scan, so you have 10% above, you have 10% above the 50 and you have high volume. So the next thing you're going to do is just click on snapshot. This is really good because it's gonna show you exactly what we're looking for. And something that you can do over here, depending on if you're seeing too many things, you're looking for more large cap or small cap or whatsoever, you can always change the market cap. I personally don't, I will let everything there and I will filter it just after whenever I look at the chart and the news. So you can see that CVNA made a really, really big move. And this is today, so the market is just closing so you can go ahead in this chart and go in your platform of choice and just set an alert above this high. You're going to do the same thing example on this one and you're going to start doing the same thing on every chart that is over here. So we have Fubo, it made a high so I'm going to put an alert just above the high. Over here, GOEV already made the move so I'm not going to be looking at it but you have this stock over here, Key. So this one is a regional bank. So I'll do research. Is there news? Is there news in the sector? All of that stuff. And I would just set an alert. Same thing over here. This is another regional bank ETF. I would probably not trade it because it's an ETF. But over here, I would look at Mara and set some alerts. NKLA, I would put an alert above the $3. And over here, PLTR already failed today. So this was good. And over here, I will do the same thing on plug. I will set some alert. Riot, I will set some alert. Rivian, I will set some alert above this high over here. So at this point, you probably get the principle about this trade. And if we look at Rivian, you're going to see how many alerts do I have, right? So I do have on pretty much any stock that made a move recently. So I'll just link these two together. And over here, you're going to be able to see that I do have alerts pretty much on anything that made a move recently. So I have the NVDA because it made a significant move. And actually it was a really good example just over here on the 14. So if I just look back at this day, pretty simple trade, right? Big day the day before, and then you just wait for the failure of VWAP and then you have a nice trend down. And that's pretty much the only thing you have to do. So other than that, it's just gonna be about reading the news, understanding market cycle and all of that stuff. But I personally really enjoy this setup and I just scan every night. I just set some alerts and after that, I just wait for them to trigger and I look at the chart. I just see if there's a setup, if there's news or anything like that. And I execute and hopefully there's a good turn of event. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.